other Rails applications, sometimes we have a situation where we need to refresh on an interval. So this kind of long polling will hit your application on each interval, and there's a lot of different kinds of use cases for this. Sometimes, instead of refreshing on an interval, you want to do it on a timeout. So here we have four different examples. We have two examples where it's a interval refresh. So after a certain amount of time, it's going to refresh and fetch new content. And then we have a refresh on timeout. And the refresh on timeout will be a delay and then it'll make the request. And within each of these examples, we're going to approach it a little bit differently. We'll have a turbo frame tag and within that turbo frame tag, we'll include the source right within there. And in the other example, we will not include the source within the turbo frame tag, but instead we'll add it as a data attribute. But we'll create a stimulus controller that's going to be able to handle these, depending on your use case and preference, and while still being unobtrusive. And so if we refresh the page to see what it looks like again, you'll see that the first ones where we have the source in the frame tag will immediately trigger off the request and then it'll start refreshing on the interval or it'll refresh one time after a certain amount of timeout. Whereas if we had the source in the stimulus controller, in these examples, we had the default text, but then once it hits the interval or the timeout, then it'll make the request. So depending on your use case, you may prefer one over the other. And in this episode, we're going to have a look at all four scenarios, creating just a couple of stimulus controllers and making it very configurable and unobtrusive for your application.